Happy New Year! I'm out on the river Ant today for a New Year's paddle with Ginge. We've just set off from Wayford Bridge and we're, um, we're headed south down towards Barton Broad, which is the second biggest of the Norfolk Broads, for a little explore. Being New Year's Day, it's lovely and quiet. We did see a couple of paddle borders earlier on but um, they're quite a way ahead of us down the river so hopefully we won't catch them up. We're on um, the navigable part of the River Ant so this is open to pleasure cruises and motorised boats but hopefully we won't see too many of them and it will stay nice and peaceful. Happy New Year! I've got my ballast with me today and uh, I think she's probably just about forgiven me for not taking her with me on my last camp <laughs> but uh, I went by bike and that definitely wouldn't have been a good idea. Hey Mags. How's your knee, sorry? It's all right actually. Yeah, yeah. yeah. The way I'm kneeling, the sore bit of my knee is actually not on the pad. Right. You know, it's sort of yeah. ahead so I'm, I'm yeah. It's quite, it's quite comfortable. So we've just come on to Barton Broad. This is the second biggest of the Norfolk Broads. And um, it was dug for peat, I think back in about the 14th century. So it's not hugely deep, none of the broads are. They're all artificial. They're all dug for one resource or another, this one for peat. And it's supposedly where Admiral Lord Nelson learnt to sail as a child. and it is as flat as a mill pond.
How you doing hunger wise, Ginge? Sorry? How you doing hunger wise? Starving. Oh yeah? <laughs> Should we go and see if we can find that secret little stave? Yeah, let's do that, mate. We're just uh, paddling across the broad at the moment because there's a, a little secret spot on the other side. It's quite hard to find apparently. It's a little secluded spot, so we thought we would go and see if we can find a spot to have some lunch. Ginger's bought some uh, Cornish sausages and bacon up and his stove and some charcoal. So we're gonna have a sort of barbecue. <laughs> Gonna go. We've got a cup of soup, water, milk, <laughs> honey, Way. Cornish bacon, okay. Cornish sausages. <laughs> Good old charcoal. Yeah, it um, oh, it just makes life easy for one day, doesn't it? It does, definitely. There you go, Maggie in the smoke as always. <laughs> so what a little gem of a place this is. Tucked away off the broad. This is called Wood End Stave. And uh, there's Gin, she's got the barbecue going. One of those barbecue bucket things which is just the job and we're going to have some bacon and sausage and uh, a cup of tea There we go, that's how you do it I thought it was quite strong <laughs> This tea's made in Porlock in North Devon ah. So it's a real West Country treat today Yeah There you that's go dude I hope that, that ain't too strong for you, man. No, that's perfect. Builder's tea. Yeah. Cornish bacon, that's where it is.
get them in there, that'd be good. Yeah. Take yourself down. Good girl. Well, we had a really nice, relaxing lunch. Thanks, Ginge. No worries, dude. So, uh, it's about half past three now. Like I said, we did have a bit of a leisurely lunch. Um, and we're now going to head back up the river because we've only got about an hour of light left. And I'm sure it was about an hour's paddle down here, wasn't it? Yeah, I think it was, yeah. Yeah. So uh, it's not so much seeing where we're going because, you know, even an hour's time, it won't be dark, dark, but it's just... Dimpsey. Dimpsey, yeah. <laughs> That's the word of the trip. It's the, uh, dimpsey, word of, the, word of the day. Neither of us have got any lights or anything on our, on our canoes. And if anybody's puttering about at dusk, they're not going to see us very well. If we haven't got lights on, so uh, we're going to head back up. Well, it's been lovely to get out on the water today. I love doing this on New Year's Day. It's a chance to blow the cobwebs away and sort of reflect on the year that's just ended and think ahead to the year that's about to start. I've done some amazing things over the last year. A trip to Sweden with Andy. That was just absolutely amazing. What an experience that was. Can't wait to go back to Sweden one day. I did my survival challenge with uh, Joe O'Leary, which was a real, a real tester for me. I learned a lot about myself and about my abilities. And it was uh, just an amazing opportunity to, to put things to the test, you know, in a sort of controlled environment. It was good, it was really good. I thoroughly enjoyed it. I made some cool things, including my Baker tent, which I'm absolutely thrilled with and looking forward to getting out in that a bit more in 2020 and putting it to a bit more of a test. Yeah, and lots of other camps and lots of other tasty treats cooked up in the woods. Yeah, it's been a good year. I'm really looking forward ahead to 2020. I've got lots of ideas, lots of plans for things to things to do, places to go, things to make. Yeah, it's going to be an exciting year. The channel has continued to grow over the last year. I've just tipped over 40,000 subscribers, which, yeah, just never ceases to amaze me. It's crazy. Yeah, so thank you. And I'm looking forward to seeing what 2020 brings. See where the channel is this time next year. Yeah, that's also very exciting. Pheasants mags, your favourite. Well, after swans.
Well, we're nearly back where we started at Wayford Bridge. So I thought I would sign off now while there's still a little bit of light. I should imagine the picture is already quite grainy. Thanks, Ginge, for uh, coming up for another great paddle. Brilliant day, mate. It's been an absolute gas again. Yeah, it's been Cheers, good. Dude. Oh, thank you. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Happy New Year, and I'll see you soon.